them and the person for the month of January 2021. I do give personal readings. My information is in the description box. My recorded reads, um, it, it, there's like a two day window of when um, you'll receive your reading from when you sign up, the, the appointment time that you sign up for. They start as low as $22 for a read, um, a recorded read. And um, this particular um, message can pertain to your sun sign your rising sign, your Venus sign, or your moon sign, or whatever sign you're really into. I also like recommend that, hmm, I like this already. I also recommend that you check out the Pisces um, 2021 read, and um, it's really cool. It's for the year 2021, and um, they're all really positive, I think. The Aquarius one was like the only one that was a little bit like, yikes, but you know, they're representing the, the age of Aquarius. <laughs> so let's talk about you and your person, Pisces. If anybody wants to timestamp when I start this read, go for it. I will not be offended. All righty. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. So your spirituality is influencing this new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And pay attention to the red flags. Pisces, what the heck? All right. All right. All right. Let's get a little bit more for you guys. This person is super attracted to you. Maybe a fire sign. Um, this is a challenge for you. As a matter of fact, you feel like it's... <laughs> I feel like you have feelings for a person where it feels like it's over before it even began. Okay? So somebody who moves pretty darn slow, um, they are very attracted to you, very attracted to you. Um, a lot of times the night of discs for me is somebody who moves so slow that they don't move, but their intentions are good. And if the night turns into like, <clears throat> if the night turns into like a queen or a king, that kind of thing, then it looks good. But if the night just stays a night, um, to me, it's almost like a hanged man. Although I like the hangman better because the hangman, um, the hanged man changes their perspective. So they hang to change the perspective, you know? So to me, that's more your energy, Pisces. That's your energy. So yeah. So we're getting fire sign and we're getting earth signs here. Okay, there is a truth that they know about you. So they might feel like you're somebody who speaks your truth. You know, um, they're not going to move towards you. Maybe one of the reasons why they're not moving towards you, Pisces, um, is because they have a lot of attraction to you. And I mean, they are moving towards you, but it's so slow that it's like, it feels like a failure already, or that's like your experience in the past. But they know that you're a person of truth and they know um, not to really move too fast until they're coming from like knowing their truth, knowing what they want. Um, you're a person that demands truth and demands respect and that kind of thing. Um, kind of bothers me that these aren't showing all the way. Is that kind of? I gotta do my other setup soon. The day tree, the dancer, the princess of wands. Okay. All right. So they're staying in this kind of dancey dancer love. Like they have the hots for you. Okay. Pisces. Like, um, that's, that's coming across. Okay. I'm going to change the energy of your side with the, with these cards. These are the, um, these are the next world tarot. I love them. These were the urban tarot. And the top ones are the romance angels, but they're not for sale. You have to buy them used. It's something else, but they're fun. I'd almost say it's worth it. <clears throat> Pisces, it's 
way. <clears throat> you are the truth, okay? Like if it's not coming from a place of truth, Pisces, like you're you're out. You're like I'm out. And so they already they lost you before they had you. <laughs> this is funny. It's like they lost you before they had you. Because you're like you're like it's kind of funny. They're moving so slow that you're like, I'm out of here. Bye bye. But then you have anxiety about it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. There's a funny dance going on with this person. I feel like you're just getting to know them. They might be somebody just kind of on the list for you. Like this is like a crush or something. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you just see this person as like, you know, playboy, playgirl, you know, in and out energy, a fire starter, somebody who w won't finish what they start. Hmm. I don't feel like they want, they see you as sad. I don't think so. I think that they don't want to break your heart. I really do. I mean, for some of you, this could be like one of those, you know, like where you really got into the relationship. There you are. There you are, Pisces. That's the hanged man card in this deck. Suspension. Okay, so you're changing your perspective. You're like manifesting this kind of night of... Okay, this, this is like, so for some of you, you might be a dancer. Man, you're really coming out. You're saying hello. We got the moon, which is cancer, but it's also Pisces. We got the, the hanged man. Um, you're, this is funny energy. So it's like something kind of started. You have your eye on them. It doesn't really move. It kind of gives you anxiety. Then you go in and you try to start something with them. And there's a little bit of a dance going on. A little bit of a dance going on with you guys. I'm gonna just get their energy a little bit more. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Even the way I'm shuffling is kind of funny. All right, Pisces, you just need to, like, you need to, you're, you're not moving with them. This is not moving. This is like, it feels like a crush. They don't wanna break your heart. Um, you might be going through something that is hard on your heart uh, or they're noticing that and maybe this is sort of a getaway for you. The Page of Wands, the Home of Fire. Yeah, I'm just getting this is a, this is a crush. This is somebody what, that you're having an attraction to. Um, they're definitely single. They're self sufficient. They've got it going on. Um, if they move towards you, it's like t it's it's in a very independent way. It's giving it a try. It, it's it's very light. Um, it looks like they are actually going to go for it, okay? And just be, the energy's light. And I almost feel like it's what you need. I think you need that light energy and that fun. I don't think you actually, Pisces, want anything heavy right now. Um, it might be a pattern where you think you do, but the hanged man and changing this perspective is like, you don't need to. You also don't need to be in a relationship with this person, but you can get to know them before you run away. 
you know, get to know them before you run away and see if it's something you want, but don't put like, don't put something heavy on it. If you can help it, there's your energy. Like, yeah, you, you're like, you're like this person and the world's therapist. Okay. You're the one that like helps everybody through everything. And I think that you really like doing that. It's also a pattern that you tend to do. And then you attract these people that really enjoy that therapy, you know, but this person's like super attracted to you like physically. Um, it's going to take them time to like, like love you in that deep way that you love them or you kind of think that you want to love them. If that makes sense, Pisces, don't be mad at me. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> just gonna say it like it is strength yeah and they see you as strong you're like a strong therapist they want to lean on you they can lean on you they even feel like you're so grounded and you do your work and you're prudent and at least that's how you're coming across and they can just like kind of jump into your arms and it's kind of safe but they also know that they have to come in with this like <clears throat> truth It's just the beginning. <clears throat> okay. This really feels like to me, there is the pay attention to the red flags. Um, there's a reason why you're manifesting. It's spiritual. Okay. There's a reason why you're, this is weird. I'm getting the same energy with Taurus. I, I literally, it's so strange. Like I'm, I'm starting like sometimes the day that I do these readings are more at, like an aligned with the energy of collective what everybody's going through than the sign sometimes one sign will be totally different than the other but there's this general energy of like you needing this light hearted I guess it is different but than Taurus the one I just did but if Pisces if you are like going through this kind of thing but it's been in a long-term relationship check out the Taurus read um like a marriage or whatever but because the energy still the lesson ge um generally speaking is you need to lighten up and just give the relationship time to become something don't make it something and then get all like anxious and nervous and make it fail before it even begins okay because this person looks like kind of confused. They're going slow. Um, they, they don't have a lot of negative energy, honestly. They're attracted to you. They want to give you truth. Um, but they're, you know, it's, it's just a, it's, they just have a fire, a spark for you, you know? They see you as really strong, as like, you know, a healer, someone that can be there for them emotionally. Even you even move into this like really emotionally stable person who who is solid in their work and what they do and who they are. So really all you have to, that is who you are. That's, I, maybe that's how you, move, the energy you move into is just being emotionally stable, secure, sound, really getting the bigger picture after this hanged man, changing your perspective, loving yourself, doing your work. This person goes ahead and comes in. Okay. Cause they can't be what you've dreamed them to be yet. They can't. It's, it'll push them off. You push them off because of it. Cause it's too much for you. That's the point. <laughs> it's too, the dream that you put on this person that's brand new. You're looking at the red flags. You're looking at what could be all this stuff. Then they can't, um, they can't do it. They, they, they just, because you can't do it. You get it? Like they're just showing you what you can't handle. So I do see you moving into this more chill out energy after this like hanging. Okay. In the month of January, you just, you start to chill and they move forward because you're ready. You're ready for this. And then you can look at the red flags with like a, 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 a bigger, a better perspective, you know, 
I mean, they're, they're just assuming that the, right now, they're just assuming that they'll break your heart if they move towards you because they see the dream that you, they can feel the energy of the dream in which you're projecting onto them. However, it's for you. Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. That's so funny. Um, oh, look what came, love. I do think that you can, this can turn into something really beautiful. It's just not moving yet because you need to get out of the dream and more into the knowing. Okay, so I pulled some more cards. Um, oddly enough, um, one of my Pisces friends called me while this was happening. So that blocked the read, which um, is interesting, right? And there are no coincidences, Pisces, um, out of all the signs you guys know that. So yeah, you move into this place of knowing who you are, what is going on, because you're out of the dream and into the present moment now. You stabilize the mind and you you allow the mind to move into the heart chakra, right? So you're living in the mind of the heart instead of the, the dreamland that the mind creates, but then the heart stays in the present. It, it's, it, what, it is what is and accepts all there is. And it, there's no, there is no... Um, Nothing wrong with dreaming and believing and making up dreams, but to the extent that you're doing it, um, it blocks the connection in the present moment. Okay, and you're gonna you're learning how to do this. Um, you're a therapist to other people because you need to be in that sound place for yourself, that sound mind, that emotional stability, that self love, the ability to love yourself, and and love. This is Mother Earth. Um, you know, mother water. This is a, a very spiritual, nurturing, nurturing woman, person, or or female energy. It's really lovely, and just really sticking to your own work. And this person sees you as strong and stable in the future. So you're just your energy shifts, your energy changes with this hanged man card. So that's what's going on right now. Is you're changing your perspective and you move into this like this can happen. This really can happen. And I started shuffling and this Venus came out. So this is definitely a relationship that can happen. Okay. So that advice is just to get out of that dream, like that thick, heavy weighted dream, dream a little, you know, <laughs> but don't put it all on a physical person, you know, um, work on you, do your work, do you, and it, it's all going to come to you. It's going to manifest. Look at you, you get the first house, the light body. Embodying the light within, yeah, I love it. And so there is some changing going on within. To move into this new energy, to move into this love, which you know is yours. You know love, you know change. You know the body, you know, what was that one, the mind. You know it, you know it because you're present for it. You're not in la la dreamland. And then in that place, because you're so magical, because you're the queen of cups, because um, you're the hanged man, someone who can see the things above the veil, the bigger picture by taking their time to readjust their perspective. Okay. This is good, 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 good. So um, I think that's all I have for you. Maybe some extra advice for Pisces. Yeah, it's this knowing that you know, that you know, that you know who you are and what is going on in the present moment. So it starts to get rep repetitive. All right. And then we have pulse of mother, slow down time and nature. Yeah, there's, it's all about slowing down, getting out of the projected dream of what you think you want and moving it into what is already yours you have everything you need you are heaven you are light you are darkness you are you just you you are you am <laughs> um yeah and you're not alone so and, you know some of this you know dreaming helps sort of that abandonment wound right and a fear of isolation and this need for physical connection and community don't worry it's yours you're embodying the light. You're embodying that. Okay. You are not alone. You are love. You're surrounded in love. 
and um, everything will come to you in the perfect way. It's all divinely orchestrated for it to come together for you perfectly. So lean in, relax, trust, and get present. So you can pay attention to the red flags, and, you know, and that you don't bypass that. Okay, and then they could be worked out. Because that person's red flags are a mirror of your red flags too. And what you accept and what you don't accept. They're, everything's you. Opening up that heart. Open up that heart. Taurus got this too. Make your life a moving prayer. Heart chakra opening, everybody, in the, in the month of January. All right, so...